All right, we have the uh, fancy bear. Uh, Wanda Cyber Attack raises questions for Sky Cycling to you at large. Uh, so Wiggins is using corticosteroids. Like, you know, I mean, look, look, it's not just Wiggins, man. If you want to be fucking good in a stage race or one day race, you have to fucking use corticosteroids. You'd feel less pain. You feel more euphoria. It, you just have to use them, all right? Like, it's just, it's just fucking given. If you, I don't know, plenty of pro riders who wouldn't use them. And you won't know who they are because they won't get the results because they're not willing to do the drugs that you need to do to win. That's just business. It's fucking reality. And I'm not having a go at people who do them or having a go at people who don't do them. I'm just saying this is a water bottle with smooth inside. It is what it is. The, the top riders are fucking using corticosteroids. They're using the TUE system. This is how it is. Uh, so Wiggins, um, interesting physique. They look how skinny the ankles are and the, the big leg. That's just genetic. But, so this is all this TUE scandal. Scandal. I mean, I've been saying it for fucking 15 years. It's just, it's like, you gotta, you gotta ask yourself, if you can use something legally, why wouldn't you use it? If your job is to win, if your sponsor say, look, mate, if you don't fucking win or get some results this year, you're finished. You're fucking finished. It's just, it's a lot of pressure, man. That's, that's pro sport. Pro sport is basically aggressive exercise funded by money to make more money. Pro sport is aggressive exercise funded by money to make more money. So it's part of the, you've got to win. Anyway, so if we go to Google search, this is how unfair it is that cycling is getting the, the blame. You're cycling, you type in cycling and then boom, one, two, three, boom. Medical records hacked and it's got Chris Froome's picture there, okay? So then you go to gymnastics, there's no talk about drugs. It's like one, two, it's like Kellogg's tour for the weekend, you know, like, like we've got a new national 10 coordinator and, and the only the bad stuff is a USA gymnastics doctor faces more sexual abuse allegations so there's nothing about drugs like there's nothing man there's nothing about doping I'll go, I'll go to tennis and it's just it's like there's nothing there it's like Davis Cup Juan Martin Del Potro beats Andy Murray like where's the drugs bro where's the Serena Williams TUE scandal like there's nothing man there's nothing let's go to Tage 2 on tennis tennis is so fucking hypocritical all the top tennis players, mate, they're fucking on the hot sauce, Garen fucking teed. If Serena Williams is getting busted for doing uh, drugs and Shara Probe is getting busted, then, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, whether there's smoke, there's fucking fire. There's nothing. Second page. Let's go third page. Because there's got to be something about Serena Williams. Like, there's nothing. Cause, like, tennis must pay Google to clean up their pages. It's like, look at that. Tennis, 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 no drugs. And we've got, you know, maybe on the fourth page of tennis. Let's go to the fancy bears. And then we go to fancy bears. There's a picture of two fucking cyclists. We've got Wigo and Froome Dog. You're like, what? The, like, why are we using a picture of a cyclist, man? Like, it's tennis players. Serena Williams is much more well known than Chris Froome or Bradley Wiggins. Serena Williams, man. Most people don't know who the fuck Chris Froome is or Bradley Wiggins. They're like, Tour de France, yeah, I think. Most people think the Tour de France is like a fun ride. People even still say to me, Harley, are you going to do the Tour de France this year? Like, they don't understand how it fucking works. So why the fuck have we got a massive doping scandal of the fancy bear thing? Are we, are we using pictures of two cyclists that most people don't even fucking know? Why aren't we using Serena Williams? She's way more popular. She's way more loaded. She's made way more money than that. And they mentioned her name, uh, Serena Venus Williams. Like They're fucking pretty fucking famous, man. And we've got some gymnast, Simone Biles, gold medalist. She got popped for doing Ritalin. And these people didn't get popped... Uh, they're taking these drugs and they get what's called a TUE, a therapeutic use exemption form, where you go to your doctor and say, hey, I've got these symptoms. The doctor's like, no, I'll give you some drugs. We can give you testosterone. We can give you uh, modafinil. We can give you corticosteroids. We can give you a salbutamol. We can give you methylphenidate. We can give you dextroamphetamine. We can give you painkillers. We can give you tramadol. We can give you a lot of shit and we'll give you a little TUE. So if you get, when you get tested for drugs and it comes up in your blood, you can just say, hey, test, I've got a TUE for this. And like, no worries, you can, you can use it. So you can legally don't. These are fucking doping drugs. These are powerful shit. These drugs are so fucking powerful. If you don't have a TUE, you get like a two-year suspension or even up to a lifetime ban if it's your second offense or third offense, etc. So, so there's been a big hack. Um, what else is going on with Fancy Bear? Let's have a little look-see. Let's have a look-see. I, I think it's really unfair that cyclists, you know, are doing the, are getting the, um, are getting the negativity here. Like, you know, like it's just, they're using cyclist images, like, it's crazy. Uh, what was I going to say? Bobridge Trot. Oh, Bobridge. He's from Adelaide. Um, interesting. As for medication. So, 
Oh, here we go. So Bobby just changed his diet, had arthritic issues. He less dairy, less red meat, cut out a lot of sugars. Jack, he didn't need to cut out the sugars. He used to cut out the dairy and the meat because the dairy and the meat has the arachidonic acid and it causes inflammation. Dairy and meat is full of protein, amino acids. If we have arthritis, a lot of the time is we have too much acid in the body. The amino acids and the immune system will attack them and get arthritic symptoms. So. I haven't actually spoken to Jack one-on-one uh, -on -one about his diet, but uh, it'd be good to hear what he's doing. So anyway, um, now Jack's involved, corticosteroids, pred, and so, I mean, this, this stuff, pred, the pred, man, it, it works, it's good shit, you know, like it's, but again, it's illegal, but if you've got a prescription for it, you're good to go, you're good to go. Um, so these, these athletes haven't done anything against the rules. They've used performance enhancing drugs with the rules. So I think it's unfair that the athletes get the blame. What's he doing in the fucking see the blackberries? Um, I think it's unfair that the athletes, uh, Laura Trot. Wow, she's she's involved as well. So um, there's a you know, but they're focusing on the cyclists again. What is this a cycling website? It is a cycling website. <laughs> My bad, but I think it's crazy that we're targeting the athletes who are really just symptoms of a fucked up system. You know, like, it, it, like if the world knew how much the world runs on drugs, it, it fucking cocaine, it's fucking anabolic steroids, it's like, how many CEOs out there right now are on fucking all sorts of pharmaceutical drugs to get this shit done? Modafinil to stay awake for business meetings, testosterone to deal with the stress, the high pressure stress of corporate life, and, family and kids and they're taking a bit of tea to get it done i mean i've taken the stuff as well and i can tell you why like it, it didn't really change me that much because my life's pretty low stress you know it's first world problems but i don't have any kids i don't have any staff it's just me it's just me man and my bikes and shit so it's pretty fucking easy for me to get my shit done but i've, I've used stuff before as an experiment as you know in my videos shit fucking works you know but I'm, my income doesn't depend on my performance i'm not a soldier I've done fucking less than 300 kilometers in the bike in the last 30 days. You know, so like I'm not, my performance doesn't matter. People come for my information or my fucking trolling or the train wreck or whatever they come here for. But it's uh, hypocritical, man, that cycling's getting the target, but we got this uh, tennis, nothing. Gymnastics, nothing. You know, but cycling, boom. It's, it's, it's hypocritical. The TUE is what you got to do man if you want to cope at the top you got to do what everyone else is doing man and that involves pharmaceutical products shit works man this shit works like and if we're talking like like one percent man is huge gains if you're a professional athlete one percent is a massive margin you, you type in one percent into the 100 meter sprint at you know, usain bolt you think usain bolt's full natty bra you think it's just yams and late nights partying Come on, man, don't be so naive. Pro sport. Aggress pro sport is aggressive exercise funded by money to make more money. Professional sport is aggressive exercise funded by money to make more money. Just how it is, man. And we use these young athletes, we give them the glamour, the fame, the Rolex watches, the Ferraris, or the, the fancy stuff, the accolades. And it's tempting, man. Pro sport, aggressive exercise funded by money to make more money. Let's, instead of targeting these little athletes, let's target the top, man. What's really going on? It's the federations, it's the, the big sporting giants, it's the Nike, it's the Adidas. It's the, you know, let's, let's go corporate level. Instead of like focusing on the pawns, let's go corporate level. Let's look at the system that creates this stuff. But that won't happen, will it? because it's easier to lie to society when they can't handle the truth. Think about it.